40 years ago, it was very normal to have a cholesterol level of 300. Did you hear that? And if you have a cholesterol level of 190 today, what are you told? You've got to go on the meds. And so in uh, Maryland last year, I was talking to a pathologist. She was in her late 60s. She said, I used to do all the testing. She said, we used to consider 350 was perfectly all right. So if you have a cholesterol level of 300, rejoice, you won't get Alzheimer's. And as I've just shown you, you won't have heart disease. That's why you're the doctor. And I'm just giving you the facts. I had to slip that in because the liver makes cholesterol and we're discussing the liver. And this information is important information that we human beings need to know. And do you remember yesterday I showed you two systems, two health sickness systems in the world today, one's based on fear. How many people take cholesterol-lowering medication because of fear? Remember what God said, I've not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. Your sound mind is considering the information I just told you. And when you know that information, then you realise you don't need to fear a cholesterol level of 300. By the way, if you go under 150, your brain will stop working properly. But what I particularly wanted to show you this morning is what your liver's doing today. Yesterday, you didn't have solid food all day and your liver went into detoxification. And this happens in three phases. All through our life, fat-soluble toxins have been going into our body. Go to the liver, and if it's nasty, the liver says, wrap it up in fat and store it. That's why the Vietnam veteran, when he came to do our program, he said, I'd like to lose a bit of weight, but my doctor says, don't lose weight. Why does the doctor tell him not to lose weight? Because what's in his fat cells? Nasty stuff. Because the Vietnam War was the first war that used chemical warfare big time. He said to me, most of my friends are dead. And he was, uh, so this was 15 years ago and he was early 50s. He said, either suicide or cancer. But he said, I do want to lose a bit of weight and I actually want to get this stuff out of my body. And I said, you've come to the right place because I'm going to show you how you can do that. You see, the environmental poisons that come into our body predominantly are in a fat-soluble state. So they're stored in the fat cells and they're fat-soluble. Fat-soluble toxins. Now, we are unable to release fat-soluble toxins. They have to be broken down to a water-soluble state. And that's what you can sweat out in the steam bath. And your liver will bring this fat-soluble toxin to a water-soluble toxin through three different phases. Phase one began yesterday. Yesterday, your liver took the fat-soluble toxin and broke it down to a metabolite. What's metabolite? A metabolite is the first stage of metabolism or the first stage of breakdown. And this metabolite is highly volatile. This metabolite creates a lot of free radicals and free radicals damage the tissues. This met metabolite sometimes creates something a hundred times more toxic than it originally was, definitely in the case of alcohol. And you might look at this and say, well, what's the liver doing? It's just created something worse. It's a process. It's like what happens when you clean the kitchen cupboards out. Your kitchen looks a hundred times messier than when it started, yeah? It's like when you're 
um, my son put a new clutch in his car. What do you think the garage looked like halfway through? <laughs> this stuff everywhere. <laughs> Cleaning the garden shed looks a hundred times messier than when you started. At this stage, your liver has certain needs. In phase one, the liver needs antioxidants because antioxidants, their nickname is free radical scavengers. And antioxidants, the most potent antioxidants are beta carotenes. And beta carotenes are found in all your green and orange colored vegetables. So beta carotenes is one very potent antioxidant. And notice that every juice you have is either green or red or orange. So we're supplying high antioxidants. The other probably most famous antioxidant is vitamin C. And we're giving you a dose of vitamin C in every green barley drink. Vitamin C is not ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is only part of vitamin C. So in plants, you'll find ascorbic acid with bioflavonoids. So if you buy a vitamin C powder or supplement, make sure it's ascorbic acid with bioflavonoids. The third most potent antioxidant is vitamin E. And vitamin E is a fat-soluble vitamin, so you're getting your vitamin E in your protein drinks. Within 36 hours of beginning a detox program, phase two kicks in. So phase two kicked in this morning. In phase two, your liver takes this highly volatile, highly toxic metabolite and joins it together with amino acids. So the union of this toxic metabolite with amino acids produces the water-soluble state. And the water-soluble state is what we've all been waiting for because as a water soluble, it can be easily released out of the body. And this explains why in phase two, the requirements are protein. And this is why yesterday we only gave you two protein drinks, but three green barley because your requirements for antioxidants were high yesterday. But today we'll be giving you three protein drinks because your liver's requirements for amino acids is greater today because you've gone into phase two of the liver detox. Phase three of the liver detox happens in conjunction with phase two. And in phase three, the liver takes the water soluble toxin and it releases it out or back into the bloodstream where it is released out via your sweat glands. Your most important steam sauna is today because you'll be releasing more water soluble toxins today than any other time of the week. You won't stop detoxing tomorrow. It'll just slow down because now solid food's coming. The water-soluble toxin can also be released out via urine, which is why it is very important to drink adequate water. You need to drink adequate water so you've got the water to create the sweat to throw off the water-soluble toxin. It's important to drink adequate water so that you're creating enough urine to be able to release out that water-soluble toxin. And it's also important that you ensure that your colon is evacuating at least twice a day, ideally, because some of the water-soluble toxins will be released via your colon. And that's why yesterday I showed you how to ensure that your organs of elimination are eliminating effectively. The liver does a very good job at breaking the fat soluble toxins down to the water soluble state, but we need to make sure that we're giving our body the right conditions so that it's being released out as the liver is breaking it down.
I think the hardest time is that third steam when you think I've had enough, but I sit there and think, no, nah, a little bit longer, <laughs> a little bit longer. I want to get these, I want to get these uh, water soluble toxins out. And I think you'll agree with me after you've had that cold plunge or cold shower, it's easier to stay in the hot a little bit longer and the, and the cool on the head. As I previously mentioned, you will continue to detox over the next few days, but not as majorly as you are today. Today is the main detox day. This information that I've given you has only been known probably since the early 2000s. And because of advanced uh, equipment, they're able to know uh, more about the body than than they knew maybe 20, 20 years ago. I don't think Dr. Atkins knew about the three phase of the liver detox by his death, but doesn't it explain why people were getting results with his, with his, uh, with his diet? And the only reason they got so many good results is because of all the three cups of vegetables a day and one cup had to be green, so that's high beta carotenes. I don't advise his diet today. The meat is not in a good state today. But even if you did live on a mountaintop and everything was organic, it still is not the most superior diet because when meat breaks down in the body, it breaks down, it leaves a very acid residue. And in the book China Study, Dr. Colin Campbell, he shows how he could turn cancer cells on and off by the amount of meat and dairy products that he was giving to the rats. No, the superior diet is a plant-based diet, but there are many sick vegetarians, and I believe that they're sick vegetarians because they're living over here. <laughs> they're on that high carbohydrate diet. And as I showed you, you can do it. And we will show you how to do it. And the meals that you eat from tomorrow will be an illustration of how you can, you can do that. You, when you go home, you might not have the variety that we have here. We certainly show you a lot. But you might look at it and think, I don't think I'd do that, but I'd do that and that. And I think definitely from tomorrow, people are already put, looking in their mind how they can do that. One lady had already ordered all of the food while she was here, so when she got home, she could, she could actually begin implementing these things. So this explains why when the Vietnam veteran did our program, we gave him a protein drink every juice. <laughs> because what's coming out of his fat cells is pretty toxic. So I said, the good news is you can lose weight but you need to be careful how you do it. If he did a water fast, he'd be ill. I do not believe a water fast is safe today because of what we all have stored in our, in our fat cells because we are exposed to it's approximately 100,000 new chemicals every year. But I thank God that even in 2024, we can live a happy, healthy life as long as we give our body the right conditions.